VeChain is a utility token that aims to transform the global supply chain. Over the pandemic, everybody struggled greatly due to the supply chain crisis, which VeChain seeks to solve. Are you planning to invest in the VeChain market this year? This video will relay why VeChain is the most explosive crypto, making it one of the most solid investments you could start within the crypto world. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. What is VeChain? VeChain is a company that is entirely focused on resolving one of the most pervasive issues in the corporate world, supply chain traceability and quality assurance. We saw how the supply chain was severely interrupted during the pandemic, particularly regarding food traceability and the guarantee of food safety. VeChain is a distributed ledger technology network that aims to improve supply chain management and business processes. Its aim is to use distributed ledger systems to optimize these systems and knowledge flow for dynamic supply chains, DLT. In the past few years, VeChain has dominated the crypto world, and its resurgence is growing exponentially. When we say resurgence in terms of stocks or cryptocurrencies, it only means that it is expected to go higher in value. Many traders are currently compartmentalizing supply chain data for market operations in silos. This has an impact on the flow of information, which is again divided among stakeholders. One of the appealing aspects of VET is that it generates a sort of dividend. According to a recent article in Seeking Alpha, every holder of VET tokens is rewarded an offshoot coin named Thor, or VThor. As of April 21st, the market price for VThor was a little under 2 cents, 1.91 cents. However, the amount of VThor that each VET token holder receives and when they receive it is a little more complicated. So far, this is the most foremost description I found. Holding the VET token generates VThor. A set quantity of 87 billion VET tokens is used to create VThor every day at a rate of 0.000432 per VET token. Every day, a predetermined amount of 37,584,000 VThor tokens are generated. As a result, if you own 10,000 VET tokens today, which cost 0.2281 or $2,281, you'll receive 4.32 VThor tokens at $1.91 each, for a total of $8.25. Furthermore, the blockchain employs a proof-of-authority approach. This is in contrast to Bitcoin's proof-of-work scheme, which basically rewards Bitcoin mining. That's also distinct from the proof-of-stake process that Cardano and soon Ethereum will begin to adopt. VThor is utilized, 70% of it destroyed or burned, and the remaining 30% is maintained by authority masternodes, which says the most detailed description of how the proof-of-authority system works. These are only complete nodes authorized to validate and produce blocks on the VeChain Thor blockchain. The VeChain system is a dual token system that is subject to both inflation and deflationary effects. The VeChain Thor network employs a primary coin called VET, according to one recent report. The availability of VET is limited. The secondary token, VTHO, or VThor, is created when you hold VET. VThor has both a controlled inflation and deflation rate. The system's monetary policy is overseen by a steering committee, but it's decided by the people who own VET tokens. This regulated and deflationary policy, according to the report, results in a somewhat inflated quantity of VThor tokens, which are utilized in transactions. VeChain is one of only two crypto projects that have centered their business model on using blockchain technology as a service through their VeChain toolchain platform, TM, out of many that exist in this ecosystem. Whereas most crypto projects compete fiercely to decentralize finance, tokenize assets, or safely transmit value from one person to another, VeChain has positioned itself in a unique disposition that will propel this firm to become a crypto heavyweight. VeChain seems to have no competition until now. And it is a pioneer in using blockchain technology to tackle real-world challenges faced by many businesses throughout the world. VeChain has a template solution for all of these enterprises, no matter how small or large. Product lifecycle management, supply chain process control, data deposit, data certification, and process certification are areas where VeChain uses blockchain technology. At several Fortune 500 companies, VeChain is now at the forefront of the supply chain movement, paving the way for complete openness, accountability, and confidence at any turn. In the commercial world, no other blockchain startup has reached this level of adoption. There is no way around it. From the raw material source to the end customer, every phase of the supply chain is meticulously tracked in the blockchain. What is VeChain's method for accomplishing this? By delivering immutable, trustworthy data, a product's data is stored on the blockchain and cannot be changed. 
Each worker, manager, and employee is responsible for his or her own component within the supply chain. Their contact with the product and the time and date of the engagement is permanently recorded on the blockchain. The information on the blockchain can only be registered by individuals who have been delegated to this process. To achieve this, VeChain combines blockchain technology with IoT, Internet of Things. According to a Cointelegraph analysis, if this technology is deployed globally, the supply chain may save $155 billion each year. Furthermore, allowing this technology to be used will increase global food trade by $100 million every year. Another convincing explanation to invest in VeChain is that its staff is an excellent blend of business and technical expertise, unlike many other crypto ventures. Sonny Liu started the company's CEO and co-founder. They quit his work at Louis Vuitton in China to indulge his passion for blockchain technology and decided to use it to address one of China's most prevalent issues, the rampant commercialization of faulty products. China has a severe problem with counterfeit goods, ranging from the widespread distribution of counterfeit luxury goods to the lethal repercussions of tainted newborn formula during the 2008 Chinese milk scandal. Sunny Liu spent several years as CIO at Louis Vuitton, where he was exposed to all of the intricacies and problems of running a corporation. As a result of his experience, he has been able to form a well-balanced team. VeChain's key team members come from various backgrounds, including the tech and business sectors and finance and banking. They've worked for organizations such as Deloitte, Hewlett Packard, Louis Vuitton, the Miami Heat, Barclays, and a corporate lawyer who has worked with the Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, Disney, and MGM. One of the elements you should look into if you want to know whether a firm is a suitable long-term investment is funding the initiative. In the instance of VeChain, many well-known billionaire venture capitalists from the United States have decided to invest their money and time in the project. Let's begin with Jim Breyer, the founder and chief executive officer of Breyer Capital. Jim has a track record of making excellent early investments in firms like Facebook, Etsy, Legendary, Marvel Entertainment, Spotify, and 21st Century Fox, just to name a few. He is the brother-in-law of Elaine Chao, the current U.S. Secretary of Transportation, whose family is involved in international logistics. Tim Draper, the founder of VC Draper Fisher Jurvetson, is the second billionaire venture capitalist I'd like to discuss. Skype, Overture, Baidu, Tesla, Hotmail, SpaceX, SolarCity, Robinhood, and other well-known venture triumphs include Draper's. VeChain has excellent connections and collaborations. As previously said, VeChain has been at the forefront of integrating blockchain technology into supply chains of some of the world's most prestigious corporations, BMW China, H&M, LVMH, Mott Hennessy Louis Vuitton, Walmart China, Bear China, ENN, BYD Auto, PICC, Shanghai Gas, DIG, ASI, and others lead the way in the real-world application of this technology. VeChain has also formed solid strategic alliances with PwC, the world's second most prestigious accounting firm and one of the big four, as well as DNVGL, a leading global assessment and certification society. VeChain can provide high quality standards in applying this technology within established enterprises because of the outstanding reputation of these two important partners. Despite being based in Singapore, VeChain has the distinction of being one of the few blockchains and cryptocurrency firms approved by the Chinese government. It's one reason why this organization has been able to build such a solid client base and business relationships in that country. The operation offices of VeChain are located in Shanghai and Beijing, Japan, France, the United States, Luxembourg, and Italy. VeChain has everything it takes to develop consistently, if not massively, over the next five to 10 years, thanks to great industry connections and real-world use cases. VeChain will carve up a significant section of the supply chain industry if they stick to their strategy, expand their relationships, and apply their VeChain Toolchain TM platform in different organizations to go beyond colossal success. What if VeChain would keep surging in the next few years? Now that VeChain is at its bull, will it be a good investment? Are you willing to risk in VeChain? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.